Greetings people, I'm Fox and today we're taking a look at another mod. This one is called the Crockpot mod. Uh, I believe this was actually a modern competition entry which became a really a really cool mod. So uh, as you can see it brings the Crockpot from the Don't Star game and well oh boy is it fun. Uh, it also brings quite a few new plants and we're going to take a look at the um, Recipes because there's I believe four over 40 of them And yes, I did make them and I will make them all Why do I do this myself? I don't know. Anyway, let's start off. How do you even make a crock pot? So first and foremost, we need uh, two sticks, one charcoal and six stone bricks And if you put it into the crafting table at this in, With this recipe you will get the crock pot which is the normal crock pot you can upgrade it to the uh, Crockpot Plus by using 5 nether bricks in Blaze Powder and 2 Blaze Rods. Putting them into here, like this. And of course, you will need another Crockpot. And you, you created the Crockpot Premium. And the last one is this bad boy. Uh, this will need 5 Prismarine bricks, uh, uh, 2 Dark Prismarine, and a Heart of the Sea. Using this, we can create the Crockpot Plus Premium. Oh man, and does it look good. For now, I will always use the Crockpot Plus Premium uh, for creating the recipes, but some, of course, will always need uh, the Crockpot Plus Premium. Some always will always need the Crockpot Premium, and some will need the normal Crockpot. Next, let's take a look at the new plants. First, the most basic plant is the Unknown Seeds, or, well, the seeds, of course. You can get this from breaking uh, uh, grass, and well, it's basically like the wheat, except it's only for the uh, crockpot mod, uh, vegetables and such. So there are six vegetables, the asparagus, the corn, the onion, the eggplant, the pepper, and the tomato root, which is not the tomato. So uh, let's go over to the uh, asparagus. Asparagus seeds look like this, and it can be crafted from asparaguses. Yes, that's how you say it, I believe. And it's basically, if you get a uh, unknown seed planted, you get an asparagus, you wait for it to grow, and then you punch it, and you craft them into seeds. The same is with the corn, this is how the corn seeds look like, and the corn, I believe, can uh, only be harvested if you punch it, or, um, maybe with great uh, or survival mode, because I didn't actually test this, I forgot to test it. Yes, I believe, yeah, it seems that you can only at the items if you punch them. So yeah, let's take a look at the next one, which is the eggplant seeds. The eggplant looks like this as well, and basically it has the same logic as the other. Uh, however, it does drop quite a lot of plants. I'm going to put them into the chest later on. Next is the onion, I believe. Yes, uh, this is the basic logic of how you acquired all the uh, well all the seeds from them, and it only gives about three to a lot of onions. The next is the pepper, and it looks like this, which looks really interesting. Uh, I believe before they grow, they do have a flowering phase where the flowers are usually white. I noticed them uh, when I was bone milling them so they can grow, grow faster, and I believe they, they're, it does, they're, doesn't happen anything. I can't speak, oh my god. Uh, nothing happens when you eat them. I don't know what happened to me right there. And the last is the tomato root which does look like the spore from Terraria, <laughs> interestingly. And the tomato root is, of course, a veggie. All these are vegetables. And uh, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. I'm going to harvest all of them and put them into the chest, because I don't really need, need them anymore. Got the crafts in the, uh, in the chest. And there, 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 there. That was the asparagus chest, doesn't matter. The next, which is probably the most um, needed thing in the whole game, or the whole mod, is the... Oh. Is this, the Crockpot uh, Cookbook, which is the first edition. However, oh, give me a second. There we go. Uh, I used the creative one, because I accidentally deleted the one where you get it from logging into the game for the, for the first time. So my unlock progress is 100% full. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the uh, Crockpot Cookbook will show you really, really uh, 
important stuff of that's the introduction the food categories the recipes the foods and the entry index so the uh, first one which was the introduction will introduce you to the crock pot the food categories and the priority uh, you can read through this because it's quite a lot of reading but these will be really uh, important so I'm going to talk about them basically some uh, Items are dairy, some items are eggs, some fish, frozen fruit, inedible meat, monster, sweetener, and veggie. Dairy, dairy is usually only the milk bottle. The eggs are turtle eggs and normal eggs. Fishes are, well, fishes as we might know. Frozen is usually ice or snow blocks. Fruits are, well, fruits. Inedibles are usually bamboo stick or bones. Meats are, well, meats. Monster items are, uh, Spider eyes and I believe rotten flesh, but as you can see, rotten flesh is at the meat as well, because well, it's a mo meat, but it's mostly a monster meat. Uh, last or before the last is a sweetener, which is usually honeycomb or sugar, and the veggie will be beetroot, carrots, uh, potatoes, peppers, tamaroots, and such. Now priority, of course, you can well look at this once again, uh, but the food categories are here as well. The foods are usually these ones. The asparagus. I'm going to stop it right here if you want to read through it. The pepper. The corn. The tomaroot. And the onion, because I forgot to do that. Okay. And of course, there are some uh, items that are. Uh, exclusive to this mod as well. As I said, the milk bottle is also exclusive to this mod. Basically, you hold a bottle and you milk the cow with it. You will get the milk bottle and it will lose its effects. So, if you're on poison or something else, you drink it, nothing happens. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it's you only uh, use for crafts in the crockpot mod. The syrup is just basically syrup, it's a sweetener, it, 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 it does nothing else. So, let's get into the recipes. First and foremost, I'm going to put some lava buckets in here, because I believe I can use lava buckets, hopefully. And, well, I, um, accidentally shuffled the, uh, shulkers, because all of these shulkers have the recipes in them. So I don't know if we're going to go in order, and I hopefully will remember what will happen. So first, let's get off with the first one, the eggplants, with this. Um... Okay, I guess we're going to put some coal in there. Let's see if coal blocks work. If not, I'm going to have some spare coal. Um, uh, yeah, I should have probably looked at what they will... Uh, what they work with. Um, give me a second. Didn't actually think this would happen. G crock pots. Uh it's a block. That's four slots. So there's a slot for fuel which usually makes a furnace fuel. There are many recipes available for the crock pot, but stuff cooking at time requires all the ingredients to match a recipe. Huh. Oh, because oh I'm i I'm stupid. Uh uh th th I'm stupid because the eggplant must actually be used or cooked in a furnace. I forgot about this, I'm sorry. Uh, so it must be cooked in a furnace, and this will create... Give it a few seconds. There we go, the braised eggplant, which is a food item, you can eat this, who could have guessed? I'm going to game of survival, and let's go on with it. So I'm going to probably use a uh, block of coals, because that will be one of the most easiest things to use here. And this is the first recipe item. The next is, well, I'm just going to show off how you get the uh, milk bottle. That's how you get it. That's that, that's it. The next uh, shall be the... Uh, I forgot its name again. It's a syrup. If you put uh, sugar in all of those four sorts, you will create syrup. Which is basically a, a sweetener, and uh, you will get an advancement, advancement for carefully boiled. There's also quite a few other advancements. First, uh, you have to grab the crock pot. Then next is the upgrade your crock pot. And the last is obtain an ultimate crock pot. The last one 
is the gorge will be happy which is eat all of the dishes cooked from the crock pot except certain wet goop of course because i believe syrup is not edible uh then you of course can get the milk from the cows you can uh, get the trick or treat by eating the candy uh you can <laughs> This is an interesting uh, advancement, and I love it because I believe uh, in um, don't starve. Meatball is not actually the most frequented and best uh, food source, and you can keep forty meatballs in a time, which is really funny. And the last one is obtain filled dish from the crock pot, which is actually going to be the last dish from us. So next, we'll go with the next. The, f the next one is, I believe. The crock pot or the crock pot, the asparagus soup. I uh, you will need one asparagus, one pepper, or well any vegetable, and any other vegetable that will uh, basically make it um, 1.5. Meaning you will. That's actually really funny up there. Meaning you will need one asparagus, one veg vegetable that has at least a value of one, and uh, two other vegetables. Uh, that have a uh, value of 0 0.5 because you will need one asparagus and uh, other vegetables that will make out uh, make it out to uh, 1.5 the next one is actually the interesting other recipe first you will need an egg it doesn't really matter what egg and a meat that is at least uh, have a value of 1.0 oh um okay it does seem that you can only use an egg so I'm just going to use an egg, and uh, getting two raw chickens make 0 0.5 and 1, and, um, okay, I'm going to probably take a look at this, because that's, um, okay, there we go, the beginning and eggs, uh, uh, covered by any eggs, total value of more than 1, meets with a total meat value of more than 1, and no vegetables. Meaning that a turtle egg, a raw pork chop, and a chicken should be good. However, it isn't. Um, yeah, I, I, I probably messed up the recipe. Give me a second. I didn't think this would happen, because I believe I checked all the recipes. And, um, it's weird how this doesn't work. What if I... There we go. Okay, so we will, you will need two eggs, because that put out more than one. So it can be one, but it must be more than one, so it can be one, of course. Then you will need either a uh, meat value of one, and a meat value of 0 0.5, or one once again. Um, I'm just going to put these away. Don't... Play it off, cool. Nothing happened. I totally didn't fail recipe, and next you will get the bacon and eggs. Uh, the next one is the bone, bo uh, bone bouillon, which I believe you will need a meat of uh, one, point, uh, 1 point, or a uh, value of 1, a bone, for of course is a bone bouillon, a vegetable, wait, let me actually check the recipe once again, the bone bouillon. So this is an advanced crock pot recipe. It requires two bone and onion and a filler uh, to cook. That's weird because I remember it was a meat. That was interesting. I messed up once again. <laughs> Good job, Fox. I I swear, uh, the next few will not be messed up. So let's see. And filler uh, to cook. Filler cannot be inedible, so it can be meat, it can be other vegetables, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm just going to put these in there. I am actually really dumb, doesn't matter. And, oh, well, that's weird. You get a red goop. Um, that's not what I expected to get. Well then, that was interesting because I did actually do it right. Oh, because it requires tomb bone. I'm done. Okay, we're failing this really hard. Ah, I got fox. Why do I do this to myself? So two bones, one onion, and a filler fish is going to be a steak for now. So one bone, two bone, an onion, and a steak.
but that, that at least shows that that's how you create a failed recipe and if it's right it should take about 30 seconds to cook which is interesting because it doesn't take 30 seconds it rather takes a bit less and there we go that's the bone bouillon good job me you did it and now oh, okay sorry i forgot that wasn't creative and now let's put this in there this next is the steak or well more recipes of course who could guess i'm sorry i'm filming this one really hard the next is i believe the california roll no that shouldn't be it oh man um well let's see here which one was it doesn't matter i believe this was a full meat recipe meaning it was probably the meatball uh, so you will need one or I believe uh, 0. Point or 0 3.0 uh, amount of meat meaning there we go that should probably be good hopefully I use the cooked pork chop two cooked rabbit meat so no cooked muttons and a steak ah that's the meaty stew of course uh, so yeah um, back on track once again I believe Let's see, where was it? Let's, where was it? There was it. There it is. The meaty stew is a food item cooked in the crock pot by adding uh, any meats. It is a total meat value of 3.0 or higher and no inedibles. It takes 15 seconds to cook. Now, we're actually not going in order by the cookbook, rather we're going in order by the creative menu. So the next one should be the California roll, I believe. It is made from one unit of fish. And exactly two, two dry kelp. One unit of fish, and one and two dry kelp. There, that should be good. It's probably going to be a wet goop. Probably going to be a wet goop. No, it's a California roll. Oh, good. It's one unit of fish, meaning 0 0.1 uh, uh, point, and that's then two um, dry kelps. The next one is literally just candy, I believe. With which I messed up again. Good job, Fox. You really, really did this right. Let's see, where was it? It was somewhere over here. Um, was it on this page? There it is, the candy. So, it requires either two syrup or one sugar. Also, honeycomb should not be added. It takes one or ten seconds to cook. Two syrups or one sugar. There's one sugar in it. Meaning, I'm probably going to use two syrups then. Interesting. Huh. Um, there we go, that's probably going to be a red goop. Oh no, that created a candy! Which was interesting, because we only uh, if there's either two syrups or sugar. Which was weird, so I put in two syrups, two sugars, and I was interested. Why does it say that also new honeycomb should not should not be added? Uh, meaning I'm going to of course add honeycombs to it. So syrup, sugar, and honeycomb. So probably create that this candy, the interest, the interesting candy. Um. Taking a fair share of time to cook. Oh, create a taffy. That's not what I expected. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, then it makes sense to you why you shouldn't actually add honey because it will make taffy. Get to note. Uh, let's go back into survival. The next one is, I believe. Um, let's see, what was it? Not the first six. The Kavisha, I believe. Yes, two fish and one frozen item. Frozen items, as, as I said, was ice or ice, meaning that two fishes and one frozen, meaning that I probably shouldn't actually use two or uh, two different fish, rather two of the similar fish. I forgot what I'm in survival. I'm just going to stay in creative for now. So, meaning that. That was interesting. Um, made from two fishes and one frozen item without any eggs or inedibles. Oh, of course, I forgot. Uh, you will always need fillers to make actual food items. I forgot. So you can actually use different items to 
well, make stuff. But I believe some of these items, yeah, so I will need some other fishes. Let's use cook salmon. And this should create... Oh. So, I'm back. Um, interestingly, the recording just randomly shut down and heard a noise and it just did that. So anyway, um, we created one fish, one stick, and two other fish created the fish sticks. Which is a really dumb joke, but I like it. So... Let's put it in here. Come on, buddy. The next one is, I believe, the fish tacos. I'm going to use a bit more fish than that. Let's use a corn and three raw cod. And this, this will create the fish tacos. You can also use popcorn or well, any other fish. There we go. The fish tacos. The next is the uh, flower salad. You will always need a chorus fruit. Uh, I believe you also will need 1.5 amount of vegetables and this will create the chorus uh, or a flower salad which is weird because how do you even cook a salad with a crock pot but sure <laughs> it was interesting and the next one is I believe the an, a not an apple juice but if I find it uh, the no that's not no, um, okay I can't find it once again it Ah, then it, it was... Oh, interesting, it was a fish, a fish little jam, but it surely wasn't. I... there was... There it is. No, that's the iced tea. Surfing turf... Can't find it. How weird. Because there was a drink created from this, the fruit medley. I believe it was this one. Which requires any fruits with a total value of 0 0.3 or higher, or 3.0 or higher, different from fistful jam, only no meat, so vegetables should uh, be added. Which is interesting, because it should have created the fruit medley, but it doesn't seem... Oh, that's weird, because it doesn't seem it shows up in the in this menu, or I'm just really blind. No, it actually doesn't. Interesting. So that was the uh, next one. The next next one should be another one, who could have guessed? So this one requires a fern, a honeycomb and a blue ice. So this should be, I believe, the iced tea. You will need two ferns, this is actually really needed, a blue ice and any sweetener. Or well, not just a blue ice, but any kind of uh, freezer or ice. And then you will create the iced tea. Good job, you did it. The next one was actually the fistful of jam, interestingly. The next is, I believe, the kebabs. So I'm just going to use a bit of uh, eggplants, maybe, and an asparagus, because why not? I believe I can create this. Uh, there we go, kebabs. Yes, meat and stick or bamboo. It takes 30 seconds. It does take 30 seconds. It does take quite a while to even cook it. And well then, here we go. The kebabs. Does look really good. These items does do look really good. The next one, I believe, I'm going to add some eggplants to this once again. Is I believe, um, which one was it? Was it the? Uh, it wasn't the honey ham. It wasn't this one. It rather wasn't the honey nuggets either. I forgot which one was it. Let's see what we do with uh, which is it. It's kind of a uh, uh, an interesting find what you find out what you made. This is the honey nuggets. Oh, interesting. That doesn't make any sense though, because hmm. The next one. Oh, I believe. Uh, no, we should we should be good. This should be the uh monster lasagna, I believe. Yes. It's two months of food and no in edibles. Meaning, yeah. That's a monster lasagna. And eating this will give you points in the hunger. Good, good on you. Good on you. The last one is the last one in this one is the monster tartare, which is actually better than that. Uh, it removes, I believe, it removes the bitter effect. Um, unlike monster lasagna, consumed monster tartare will not damage the player and will remove the bitter effect which is actually really usable if you're finding the wither or any wither skeletons in the nether. Really good, really good. And there you go, the monster tatar. 
I forgot I can actually eat this in uh, creative as well. And it does give you st uh, strength for 2 minutes, which is pretty cool I as well. The next one is... Uh, ee, I forgot which one was this. Doesn't matter. Let's see, let's put some tomato roots, salmon and onions. I believe it should be a fish one, meaning it's probably the mokweka. So I'm going to also put some peppers in there, because why not? Let's see what will happen. I believe this is the mokweka as well. It does take quite a lot, and I believe the mokweka uh, needs 30 seconds of cooking. So let's see, what do we get? Yes, it was the mokweka. I was... I can't fight. It gives you health boost 3, so I should have eaten all of the other foods. Uh, okay, fine, I'm dumb. The next one is the stuffed pepper poppers. I'm just going to add one more, or uh, does it require um, one pepper? Let me check. Peppers, pepper popper. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yes, the stuffed pepper poppers. Come in a pepper. Uh, it should require only one pepper, so I'm going to probably put just the two more roots in there. I, uh, I didn't actually, I actually did forgot that you can eat these items in creative mode. So, what does this give? It doesn't really give anything else, so let's get on with it. I believe this is also a four item recipe, turtle, carrots, beetroot, and cooked mutton. This shall create another interesting food, which is a pi uh, pierogi, which is quite tasty in real life. Or pierogi? It's pierogi, yes, it's not pierogi. There we go, it's pierogi. Eating this will grant you nothing other than just being full. Next one is, I believe, the stuffed uh, or the puffed potato uh, souffle. So let's see, what else should I put in here? Let's put some sweeteners in here, shall we? Uh, I gonna check if it doesn't... Ouch. The, uh, cannot be inedible on meats. So it cannot be inedible, but it can be a sweetener. And let's see. What shall we get? <laughs> it definitely is the, uh, puffed potato souffle. And, well, there we go. Pop potato souffle. souffle. What does this get? Ooh, defense or resistance. The next one is actually a really funny one as well. Um, let's see, where is it? Uh, there it is. The fancy spiral chewers. So, combining a potato or a baked bowl with potato and potato, a stick or a bamboo, and two fillers. The fillers cannot be meats, and only one filler can be monster food, and only one filler can be another one, which is really funny. So, Put a stick because the stick is uh, used for the recipe, meaning it doesn't really matter if it's inedible. You can put a monster food in there, and however, it cannot be meat, but it can be monster food. Not sure if this will become a goop. It probably will. It did. So um, let's try that once again because it can't be a meat, meaning I'm going to probably. Um, what other monster food are there? There, that should be good. The buffer fish. And another bone is going to be a ba uh, bone once again. Because when well, it's a fish, it didn't say it was. It can be a meat. So uh, it's probably going to be a buffer fish. There we go, it was the buffer fish. So as I said, the, uh, the stick doesn't really matter, but the bone does. The next one is, I believe, let's see, it does require a stick. Meaning, it's the powder cake. That should be good. So, let's put some sweeteners in it. Because why not? So, it does require either a stick or a bamboo. A honeycomb is required. Corn is required. And sugar is required as well. It's listed here. Or, uh, sugar isn't required. Powder cake can, attempt, er, can tempt animals, like cow, chicken, and other animals, on land or in the sky. Can tempt animals. Huh. It's interesting to see. So, what do you mean? Do you... Oh, they do come after it, then. Interesting. You won't get it, though. So. We'll do it right, right in front of you. You don't get any other... Uh, anything, anything for... Well, eating it. The next one is the pumpkin cookies, I believe. Of course, we need the pumpkin, a honeycomb, and two sweeteners, I believe. Or two sugars. 
Let's see, there are just pumpkin cookies. Yes, two sweeteners, so it can be more honeycombs, but I use uh, sugar for that. And give it a few seconds, give it a few minutes. And there we go. The pumpkin cookies. Let's see. Oh, it does give. Uh, oh, it doesn't give anything. That's sad. I thought it would give resistance or something like that, but it didn't. I actually think we're going in line. <laughs> we are. So I didn't really mess up that much. Meaning that the next one should be the ratatouille. Uh, I'm going to add some asparagus to this one as well. So for this, the. Uh, the let's see, what was it? Monster honey ham, taffy, the ratatouille. Oh, there it is. The ratatouille only requires one vegetable. Uh, no meats or inedibles uh, should be added. You can actually use the anything. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so you will need one vegetable. I'm not going to put it. Put a asparagus into there then. And probably use a sweetener. Because why not? I believe sugar or uh, salt doesn't exist in the game. So I can't really add that. And that's candy. Um, we're going good. So, let's see, let's use just an eggplant then. And, um, well, no meats or no edibles, huh? Fruits, fruits, and maybe it's sugar. I'm not sure if this will, could, this will be good. Hopefully it is. And it sure it isn't. Yeah, I, hmm. Let's try that once again. Eggplant, and let's go with one sweet berry, buffer fish, and no meat can be added. We have to watch out for that. I'm gonna add any more sugar, for sugar or sweet stuff for it. Let's add a bit more, but no, because one veggie is all we need. Who I hopefully there we go. That's some. That it does seem like it's doing something. It does seem like it <laughs> it's taking 20 seconds. So we might, we might be doing something good, hopefully. I mean, it's uh, the whole, uh, uh, everything is just testing of what you can do. And there. Oh, that's the stuffed eggplant. Oh, damn it. Doesn't matter. Ratatouille, creating ratatouille does seem to be a bit more interesting then. The next one is by the creative lineup. Should be the salsa fresca. Two beetroots. Add my root and an onion. I believe it only requires an onion, uh, tomorrow root and an onion, and two fillers. Fillers gonna be meat and uh, edibles or eggs, meaning that it does require a tomorrow root and an onion. And there we go. I used two beetroots, uh, which were, I believe, um, ooh, it does give haste. Six minutes of haste. Oh man, which was um, vegetables. The next one is a fishy one. Let's see, what will this one become? The seafood gumbo, which I believe in the Don't Starve game is also really, really good uh, meat, or really good source of food. The seafood gumbo, there we go. Let's see, what do we get? We get regeneration, two for two minutes. The next one, I believe, is a 4-1 lineup. I believe, uh, which is going to be the stuffed eggplant. It should be a 4 1 lineup. Because it does seem like it is doing stuff. And I believe it cannot be meat. It cannot be meat. Uh, at least one eggplant and, and one extra vegetable. So, there we go. It, it was the stuffed eggplant. Let's see, what do you give for now? You don't give anything other than just food points, probably. Um, oh boy, what was this one? The next one by the lineup should be the Surf and Turf. However, this one needs Surf and Turf. However, this one needs for that I'm cutting the ultimate crock pot. Meats and fishes with total fi Oh yes, this is the... Oh, damn it. This is actually a really interesting one. So because the fishes, uh, these two fish have a lineup of uh, meats and fishes, you can actually create 
the uh, really interesting uh, logic of with this, the surf and turf. Hopefully, it doesn't become. There we go. This is surf and turf. Because the meat we used was, I believe, I forgot it was in mutton, and the pork chop, which have a 1.5 value, and the fish had a 1.5 value, meaning it was 2.5 or, or higher, so the meat was good, and the fish was good because it was 1.5. Meaning, we created a certain turf. It doesn't give any um, interesting uh, effects. The next one well, is actually the taffy that we created not long ago. Which is... Well... Uh, we already created a honeycomb. And we mix... Oh. Um, that's not what I thought would happen. <laughs> Who could have guessed? So, the taffy. Uh, one honeycombs and three sweetener items, that doesn't make any sense then. I did put one honeycomb in there, and three sweetener items. Why did it become a... a... a goop? I said it once again, I don't... I don't understand what happened there. Should become a... it did it again, so meaning that it was... ah, uh, sweeteners, of course. I should probably use one sugar then, and two syrups. Because I believe that's how we did that. So, two syrups. Yeah, there we go. That should be good. It's going a bit longer, and it usually takes tw uh, 20 seconds for it to make. So, this should be good then. Um, we're at 20, 16, point, 16 minutes. Oh my god. And there we go. The taffy. Now this creates two as well. Just uh, note that. And it gives 8 minutes of luck. Really good. So this one is the tea, the actual tea. You will require two fern, a sweetener, and any anything else that isn't meat, eggs, or inedible. I used a fruit because fruits are uh, usable as well. Let's see here. For, uh, two fern, one sweetener, and excluding meats, vegetables, and edibles, and frozen. Uh, it takes 10 seconds to cook. There we go, that's the tea. So I used uh, some... Uh, ooh, it gave... 10 minutes of speed too. Wow, that's really good. And there are only two more, uh, two more shortcut boxes. Let's see, what do you have? Hold. This should be the asparagacho. I'm not sure if I said that right. The asparagus apacho. That should be good. The asparagus apacho. Yeah, there we go. The asparagus asparagus pacho, Sorry. Uh, which is the asparagus drink, which gives. Uh, fire resistance for 10 minutes. Oh my. The next one is the honey ham, I believe. So I'm going to use a bit of sweetener for this one as well. I'm also going to drink milk because I don't really need all of the effects that I own that are on me. And I'm going to use one more sweetener, just because. Creating this will uh, let us get the honey ham. <laughs> well, it does it certainly take a fair share of time. Uh, just give it a few minutes, or seconds actually, not minutes. Oh boy, would it be bad if it took minutes. And there we go, the honey ham. I wonder what this will give. Ooh, regeneration and absorption too, interesting. So this was actually the honey nuggets that I didn't really create that luck that good because it came, became something else. The next one, I believe, is actually a four recipe, which is the spicy chili. So let's see here. Spicy chili. It, uh, combining any meats with a total value of at least 0 or 1.5, and any vegetables with a total value of at least 1.5. Uh, oh, that's the stuffed pepper poppers. So at least 1.5, meaning I can use a, meat, a steak and a cooked mutton, and the vegetable is at least 1.5. Veggie and a beetroot should be good. That's creating it oddly fast. And I'm not sure if we're doing it right. We did it! We did it right. Good. It only gives us haste. Because there we go. Haste and strength. Because it's chilly and it's really hot. The next one is hot cocoa. You can use three cocoa, cocoa beans or well, four cocoa beans. Cocoa beans, there we go, good fox. And a sweetener. Uh, with this, we can create a hot cocoa. Cocoa. And we got a wandering trader friend. Hello, buddy. What do you have? Really bad stuff, good. A hot, hot cocoa. This will probably give us fire resistance. Or speed. Interesting. 
think it's good as well. This one is... I don't, I don't, I forgot which, which one this was. So, meaning that after the hot cocoa, it was the ice cream. There we go. Meaning that the ice cream, let's see, where it is? The ice cream. It has one frozen item, one dairy product, one sweetener, no meats, vegetables, eggs, or inedibles uh, can be added. Fruits are uh, an acceptable filler, of course. When consumed, the ice cream immediately removes any stat effects from the player. Meaning, it's like the milk. <laughs> Except it does actually... It, do, it does seem like it is... Um, uh, infinitely usable. Because it does reset. Or there is a timer between them. I don't know. The last one is the last chest. Which is... Ooh, boy. I believe this will be... A tropical fish one, which was the... Uh, there is the tropical bully bus, which will create a tropical fish, a carrot, or a vegetable, I believe, and other fishes. Using this, we'll create the see no, not the seafood gumbo, um, not the honey ham. There we go, the tro uh, tropical bully bus. One tropical fish, other fishes with a total value of at least 1.5, and a vegetable. And this will create, it takes 30 seconds to make as well. And there we go, that's the Tropical Bullier Bass. Not sure if I pronounced that right. We have Water Breathing and Dolphin's Grace. That's really good. The next one should be the Turkey Dinner. I'm going to use a bit of sweetener for this, I'd say. So for this one, you will, of course, will need a raw chicken, some meats, some uh, fruits, and I believe vegetables are good as well, and I can use a sweetener for this as well. So let's see, Turkey Dinner. Yes, one raw chicken, at least 1.0 uh, meat, and at least 0 0.5 fruits or vegetable. And decorated candy for some reason. Which, <laughs> good job, Fox. So, raw chicken, a meat with 0 or uh, 1.0. Let's put some dry kelp in there, because why not? Crap is good for you. Hopefully that will work. It does take a lot of time, which is 40 seconds. It does seem it <laughs> to be... It take taking 40 minutes, 40 seconds. It does. Hmm. I'm interested in turkey dinner. It definitely will give us some really good effects if it does take a lot of lot of these items and a it does take a lot of time as well. There we go, turkey dinner. Which is interesting because we don't have turkeys in the game yet. Ah, oh, it only it gives us health boost. Not bad. The next one is, I believe, a 4-1 recipe, which is the Vegetable singer, Stinger. Vegetable Stinger is an interesting one, once again. Food item cooked in the advanced uh, crock pot, it grows a tomato root and an asparagus, and a frozen item and an additional 1.5 additional vegetables, which creates the Vegetable Stinger. Or it requires a tomato root or an asparagus, a frozen item which was ice, and 1.5 additional vegetables which was, I believe, a carrot and a beetroot I put in there. We have created the vegetable stinger. Let's, let's just give night vision for 10 minutes. Ooh, that's really good. The last one, I'm going to also put some more ice in there because why not? This one is actually a popsicle, which is interesting. Which is, let's see here, the melonicle, yes. Oh boy, this won't create a vat cube. Oh, it didn't. So it requires one melon slice, one frozen item, which meaning ice, you can also use one more ice, and a stick or a bamboo. It requires no meat, or no vegetables, or uh, no eggs. It gives us spin boost and jump boost. That's pretty good. And the last one, which was actually my meaning to create a vat cube. One meat, one uh, sweetener, and two inedible foods. And there we go. That's candy. Um, not what I expected. Anyway, we did create wet goop, meaning if I eat this wet goop, it will give us nausea and it takes really long. Um, just five seconds of nausea, which is pretty bad. So, there are some really interesting, uh, really interesting, uh, uh, advancements in here as well. The, I didn't eat the candy as well, I believe, meaning that I should probably eat the candy. There we go, trick or treat, which gives us hunger for 
10 seconds, which is interesting, and I'm going to hold 40 meatballs. Good job, me. And if you eat all of the veg or all of the uh, food you can actually get, you get the gorge, you'll be happy. And, well, you got all of the recipes made, which is really good. And I uh, clap for you. So, that should be it. As Walter Fox, hopefully you enjoyed this interesting mod as, as much as I did, because this is genuinely well made. All of the mods are genuinely well made. But this one was interesting. It definitely was my favorite mod, where it adds a lot of different types of foods, giving you effects for making that food. Congratulating you for actually making that food. Now, I do love Pam's Hardware Scrap, which was another mod that I really loved because of the food and how many vegetables and fruits we got. But this is still really good. And I believe Pam's Hardware Scrap is... Probably 1.16.4, but I think it was 1.12.2 if I remember correctly. Anyway, in the next video, I'm not sure what mods we're going to take a look at. But we're definitely going to take a look at another mod. Anyway, thank you for now. I was Walter Fox, and well, goodbye. Ow.